I don't believe he would have tried to have harmed me. If he did, it would have been his last worst mistake. <laughs> A Hillsborough County murder suspect may have spent his last moments of freedom listening to a sermon from the Polk County Sheriff, Grady Judd. Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva joining us live with this story. Uh, Stacy, Stacy, I know the sheriff uh, has, gives sermons every once in a while. He preaches every now and again, but this has to be a first. Yeah, and he's been in law enforcement for 50 years, and this is a first. The sheriff says he was speaking to a congregation Sunday, and his phone kept going off. He ignored it until the speech was over, and he was shocked to find out what had been going on. So that no one can say any of this. Inside a packed Green Pond Baptist Church in Polk City Sunday, Sheriff Grady Judd was spreading a message about morality and doing the right thing, not knowing somebody accused of doing a very wrong thing was listening. I continue to get cell phone is buzzing. Well, of course, I'm not going to stop in the middle of the sermon. Once his sermon was over, the sheriff saw what all the buzzing was about. Little did I know, my staff was trying to say, hey, there's a guy with a murder warrant in there with you. Polk County deputies had tracked 56-year-old John Skeen to the church. He was wanted for a murder in Ruskin two days earlier. Deputies in Hillsborough County say Skeen shot and killed a man at a home they were staying at while fishing. What I believe happened is he was going to come to church, rededicate his life with the minister, and then turn himself in to me. Only our sergeant and deputies arrested him before he got a chance to do that. Skeen is a longtime member of the Green Pond Baptist Church. Surreal, I believe, is the word some people use. Pastor David Cheek says he and everyone at the church are in shock, not only over Skeen's arrest, but also how it happened. You can't write this, and you cannot make this up. You can't write this. Skeen is now in the process of being extradited to Hillsborough County. I'm told the suspect asked deputies if he could stay for the rest of the sheriff's sermon coming up at 6, what he did instead with deputies before being taken away in handcuffs. Keith? Well, Stacy, how did the deputies track him to the church in the first place? And I'm sure the sheriff was just like, what is this all about? I mean, it happened so quickly. It did, yeah. The sheriff didn't want to go into detail on that one. That's kind of insider information. He said it was unidentified investigative information that led them there. What I do know is deputies got the phone number of the suspect's brother, who was also inside the church, gave him a call, asked him to come outside, then sent him back inside to get the suspect. The suspect came out and was taken away without incident. Stacy DeSilva reporting live for us in Polk County. Thank you.